What's going on? This is Enoch. In this video, I'm going to show you some free open source Android applications you might want to check out. Order is an open source music identification application. Think of it like Shazam, but stripped down to just what matters. So for whatever music being played around, this application can identify it. And it actually does a pretty good job at that. It doesn't just stop at identifying, it keeps a history of all your identifier tracks and even lets you favorite the ones you love. Unlike proprietary alternatives, there are no user complications, just a sleek modern UI with quick settings for fast access. The search button is also available in case you want to find a track from your history of identifier tracks. It uses Shazam Identify Data Source and Odd Identify Data Source under the hood, ensuring accuracy while giving you control over your data. And so, if you use Shazam a lot and looking for an open source alternative, you might want to consider this. Next up is ImageCraft. And this one is a powerhouse for anyone dealing with images regularly. This app is full of image editing and manipulation tools. You can batch compress images without losing quality, adjust image sizes, crop, rotate, convert between JPEG, PNG and more, and even turn PDFs into images and vice versa. Stock gallery applications can't even come close to this level of versatility, whether you need to extract an EXIF data or convert a video into GIF. And what makes it better than your default photo application is its batch processing capability, intelligent compressions, and the fact that it saves you storage without compromising image quality. Plus, it's completely free, beautifully designed, and optimized for the latest Android APIs, including predictive gestures and new photo pickers. Now let's talk about Bubble. Measuring angles and inclinations might sound, you know, niche, but Bubble turns your phone into a precision tool. You simply align your phone with any object and it measures the angle. And if you need a ruler, it has that too, in both centimeters and inches. The app's default page itself is a leveler, so to make sure things are balanced, you have this tool right on your smartphone. It doesn't need any permissions, it keeps things simple, lightweight and incredibly accurate, making it a must-have for anyone who would love to have a ruler on their phone. Moving on, we have Textual Weather. You know how most weather applications are usually filled with complicated graphs and other elements which even though are useful to some, might not be necessary. I mean, we just need to know what the weather is going to be like and that's it. The approach of Textual Weather is different. Designed with Material UI aesthetics, it gives you exactly what matters. Whether it will rain today, just a simple straightforward sentence for you to read and be on your way. You also get to add it with it to the home screen also with the same simple text format to help you get the weather situation. And I wouldn't dump an application which provides me with good information in the simplest form possible and with its accuracy, I did compare it with the default weather application on my phone and it's just about the same, so you can rely on it for its simplicity as well. The fact is, all voice record applications do get the job done. You just tap the record button and they can record something, but most of them lack some finesse. Fossify Voice Recorder brings high-quality audio capture, real-time sound visualization, and offline functionality, ensuring your recordings are private and secure. It supports versatile recording options from voice memos to musical inspirations. The interface is sleek, customizable, and ad-free, unlike stock recorders that often come with limitations. Fossify gives you control over every aspect of your recordings, including file name, audio format, and even audio source which will be very useful if you have external microphone connected. Plus, being open source, there are no intrusive ads and no unnecessary permissions. If you enjoyed the video, kindly consider subscribing to the channel. And if you love open source applications, then like the video as well. Let me know in the comments which application you are going to try out from this list and also mention some of your favorite open source applications. And as always, thank you for watching.